It's certainly been exciting watching Anthony Yard over the last 12 months or so. All bar one of the contests have gone by the way of stoppage. Round one, round two seems to be his his favourite time to get it done. He is he is made for, for TV. How do you see him developing over the next 12 months? Because he needs some tests, doesn't he? He does. Well, in the first half, we were talking about throwing people in when they're mm. ready and not holding them on too long. It's difficult to gauge where Yard is up to because he's been getting rid of people so quickly. But at some point, they're going to have to take the test, aren't they? Well, he's coming up to two years now. Um, when you look at a fight like Burton Buglioni recently mm. for the British title, it's a fantastic fight. But it was a bit sloppy, wasn't it? You know, it was exciting, it was wild. How far away is Yard from something like that? Could his power tell? You know, because they were both getting hit early, they were both hurt. Could Yard just blow through his opponents like that? You don't know until they're thrown in. What about Sh Shinquin as a... As a, a stepping perfect stone. stepping stone. Well, a perfect stepping stone, but also he's a guy, again, who, if he can box more, you see him more, he can make giant strides. When you're knocking people out in one or two rounds, you don't really want to then see him out of the ring for three months. You want to see him in there in three weeks. And and hopefully that is what we'll, we'll start to see with, with guys like Yard, who, again, is, is a guy... The most amazing thing I always think about Anthony Yard is, is he looks like a heavyweight, doesn't he? Yeah. But incredibly, he's only 12 and a half stone. Because <laughs> he does look enormous and he carries that power. And, yeah, we'll, we'll see how good he is. And, and also... Whether you can take a shot is the other question with the, a lot of these guys. Yeah, of course it is. It is. Um, it's the patience I like about Yard. He's not. He's not hurrying his work. He's not running after people to try and get them out of the ring. He's very much disciplined, organised, and just a constant threat.